Hello, YouTube. Coming at you today with a little chest and front delts. And uh, just a smidge, a smidge of long head tricep action going on. Not in this exercise, though. That's at the end of the video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, chest today consisted of two sets of dumbbell press two sets of incline flies, uh, a couple sets of a machine press, and then, yeah, I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't do my usual uh, flat fly today, just because, I don't know, I kind of tried to warm up on a flat dumbbell fly, but just didn't really feel good, so I'm like, eh, I'll just do a couple sets of lower chest fly. So that's exactly what I did, but I did on a cable today instead of the machine I kind of like, which, you know, no big deal about that. They're essentially the same thing. You know, they just feel a tad different, but that's what we did for chest. Front delts was just a couple sets of front delt press and one set of front raises, and then... Uh, for We did a little long head stuff for our triceps. So I just did, I think, two sets, two or three, I can't remember, sets of uh, PJR pullovers, which is kind of where, you know, you're just doing, like, the kind of very top motion or top range of motion of a pullover. And I was just doing that with a barbell. But also I kind of... I was also trying to like lock out my triceps. So it's kind of like, a, it's kind of like a mix of a pullover and a skull crusher, if that makes sense. But I really like it because I feel like it just really targets that long head well because you get, a, you get some of both of its functions in that exercise because your entire tricep its function is, you know, to kind of lock out your elbow from when you have it, you know, kind of up, if like if you're in a curl position, and then taking it down and locking that elbow out, making your arms straight. All three heads of your tricep are kind of responsible for that action. But then the long head of your tricep, now... That's the only part of your tricep that is also kind of connected to your shoulder joint or, you know, kind of, it's also, you know, partially responsible for that kind of movement of the shoulder. Like, you know, when you're doing lat pullovers, you, you might feel a bit of tricep or maybe in your elbow a little bit. Now, that's your kind of long head working. So I like that exercise because it kind of, you know, gets both functions of the tricep out of it or the long head of the tricep, I mean. And uh, yeah, that, you know, I've been trying to grow that muscle. So I think adding a couple sets of that to the end of chest day, I don't think it'll really harm me, you know, recovery wise. And... Maybe it'll make me grow a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, that's all the exercises we did today. It was a pretty solid, ugh, pretty solid workout. But uh, yeah, not much to say about that. Just uh, kind of getting ready for my next workout right now, actually. Well, a little later in the day. It is a Saturday, so... I can kind of laze around for a bit, but just kind of, you know, chilling out for a bit till <clears throat> it's time for my second meal. Cause I don't, I like to go to the gym with at least, you know, two, two meals in me if I can. Cause I don't know. I like to have my breakfast, get a bit more protein in and just, you know, have that food in me. And then before my workout, maybe like 30 minutes, an hour, whatever, I'll have a more carb-dense meal, 
you know, pasta, rice cakes, you know, mainly carbs with like a little protein, a little fat. And yeah, that's just to kind of keep the workout energized. But then, you know, I'll eat three to four meals a day. And I like to have like two meals in me before I go to the gym. So, you know, I can still have one or two meals post-workout to kind of refeed that muscle but anyway thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it and uh yeah anyway oh yeah here's those pullovers i was talking about you can see how i get really deep in there and then try to lock out my elbow but anyway yeah see ya